Hey guys, today's video is going to be my April, no, March favorites. Um, it's just a little bit into April. I'm a little bit late on this because as you can see, I'm a little suntan from the beach. I went to Daytona Beach from the 1st to the 6th, so I really didn't get a lot of time to um, film anything. I didn't get any time actually because I didn't film anything. Um, it's always in the back of my mind, but somehow it always gets pushed way back there and I always just don't do it. But um, I wanted to get this up because I want to show you guys what I've been loving. And I know I didn't do a February favorite. So I know this is like one of my most liked videos. So let's start with the non-makeup items. Um, the f there's two things. The first one is this YSL um, perfume. This is the... What's this called? Manifesto. I have been wearing this since Christmas. I love it. You can see it's already down here. I wear this a ton almost every single day um, and it's just been one of my favorites like the entire year so it's got like a vanilla scent I, I can't it's just amazing I don't know I'm bad at describing smells but it is awesome if you guys are in a department store or something and walk by it you should smell it it smells amazing the next product I've been so obsessed with my new holy grail is the Clarins radiance plus golden glow booster this is made to measure self tan so the way this works, first of all, this is the box, and it was $30, and you would expect the box, I mean, the product to be kind of big. I mean, I wasn't expecting it because I knew, but I'm just going to show you kind of what is inside of this big box. Not, It's not that big, but this little baby bottle, this big. Um, so yeah, that's a little deceiving, but I'm telling you it's worth every single penny. So what this is... What you do is you take moisturizer, your daily moisturizer, whatever you use, you put a glob of it in your hands and you take this and you unscrew the cap and it just has this like point, this little funnel point here. You ooh, put it upside down and it just came out, a drop just came out on my finger, but it has a button under here that you just push. You push three droplets into your uh, moisturizer rub it in put it on your face and it gives your face literally the absolute best glow bronzy tan natural glow I've ever seen it is just so gorgeous I highly recommend this for everybody it's just amazing it's not like it's not I can't explain it it's so hard to explain Read the reviews on it, look it up, and just, you will be in love, I'm telling you. It just adds that perfect glow. Like, the next day, the first day I used it, the next day, you, I could tell a difference in my makeup. It was, like, glowing underneath my makeup. It looked so, so pretty. It made my makeup look extra good, I gotta say. It's just the bomb. So, yeah. I absolutely love this, and it's definitely gonna be one of my favorites for a very long time, because I don't tan my face. Um, so if you self tan and you are afraid to put anything on your face, try this. This is amazing. Okay. Next thing is a repurchase that I hadn't repurchased in forever. And if you go back to my older videos, you'll know that I love this makeup forever duo matte powder foundation. It's the color 205, which is what I had last time. Ew, my hairs are everywhere, but it just looks like this. It's a super finely milled powder. And what I like to do is put my foundation on and just add this to um, just set everything. It just adds that extra flawless finish to your face. And it's always been a favorite of mine for a couple years now. So I was happy to pick this back up. I hadn't had it for like a year or something. And oh my gosh, I don't know how it went that long without it. But you know, you always think you can find something better. But if it works, just stick with it. That's my advice because this is definitely amazing. So love that. You cannot go wrong with this powder, I'm telling you. And then um, one of these is so weird and so random. But okay, so I never buy Physician's Formula because I feel like it's kind of overpriced. And if I'm going to pay the money, I might as well buy like a MAC blush or, you know, a more higher end blush. So I found this at my local grocery store and it was in the clearance bin for $2. <laughs> and it was really, really pretty. So I picked it up and lo and behold, it's like my favorite blush right now. 
here's what I'm wearing it right now here's what it looks like super super pretty it's just got the most gorgeous shades it came with a brush and everything but I threw it away but look how pretty this is it's got the pink and the light pink and the browns and it's just ugh, swirl it together and it just makes magic right here so 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 pretty and I have been loving this this is like all I wore on my trip so love Oh, and it's the Physicians Formula Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in Natural. So that is good. Good stuff. My next favorite is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I believe this is an exclusive palette at Ulta. You can only get it at Ulta. Um, but it is just gorgeous. Look at these colors. Oh my goodness. When I saw this palette, I, I just had to have it. It's all matte. Not to mention, the highlight shade that I use in all my videos that I'm obsessed with, Heaven, is right here and it's humongous. So that was just, that in itself was enough to make me get this. I will never run out with that much eyeshadow. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just these nice warm colors. You've got this one, which is the daytime at the top. You've got the classic eye in the middle and then you've got the fashion eye on the bottom. And I thought this color was just so pretty and unique. It's called Honey Butter, and yeah, just this palette speaks for itself. It's gorgeous, so love this. I'm wearing that like a ton. <laughs> Next is this Milani blush. It's the Baked Blush in Rose D'Oro, and it is stunning, just stunning. And there went the brush. It came with this little baby brush. I don't know how, like, does anybody even use these? Look how tiny this is. How am I supposed to apply my blush with this? Like, no. These are just such a waste. Leave the brush out and charge less. That's what I'm saying. Don't even waste your money on the brush. It doesn't work. <sighs> anyway, so this is just absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love. I've been wearing this a ton. It's, oh, I can't even, look how gorgeous that is. Oh, it's even more gorgeous on the face. I just love it, love it, love it. Those are some of my favorite blushes um, of all time, basically. Next are two mascaras, and I'm going to show them together because I wear them together. Um, the first one is the L'Oreal Voluminous, and this has been a favorite since high school. I... I'll buy this, and then I'll use it, and then I'll go buy something else, and, and I'll leave months in between before I buy another one. I don't know why. I love them. I should always have one on hand, but I hadn't had this in forever, and I picked it up the other day. Oh my gosh. I don't know why. I really don't understand myself. Like, why am I picking up 50 million mascaras when I already know I love this one? Never makes sense. But I guess... As long as they keep making mascara, I'm going to keep trying them. So that's one of my favorites. And I'll put that one on first. And then I'll top it off with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I believe this is the original in the gold tube. Um, but this one just adds a lot of length. And it separates really well. Here's what the, the brush looks like. It's just like a really skinny, weird looking thing. And what I use the Voluminous for is just for the volume and this one separates really awesome too. So this one's volume and separation. This one's length and separation. So they just go really good together. And that is what I've been wearing for a while. Next is this Palladio lip liner. This is the herbal lip liner in nearly nude. And it's waterproof and retractable. And it's just the perfect nude shade. I think it was like 2 or $3. And I just love it. So there it is right there. A lot of times it's very creamy. And so a lot of times I like to line my lips and then fill them in with this and just wear this as a lip color because it's so pretty. So I've been loving that. My next favorite are these Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliners. They had these at Ulta the day I was there. Buy one, get one free. So I picked up Black Amethyst and what's this one called? Trigger Fish. Trigger Fish. So this, these are awesome they're super waterproof they don't budge and this one is just so gorgeous it's a deep purple it's like a deep black purple so that is that right there I've been wearing this a lot when I want less of a bold black liner on my bottom lower lash line so I've been using this and it's been super pretty 
And then this one I'll swatch. It's Trigger Fish. And it's just a really gorgeous, like, sparkly gray. And I didn't have any good gray liners, so I thought I'd pick this color up. Ooh. So that one's really pretty also. So I've been loving those and having fun just doing different eye looks with those. My next favorite is the Sonia Kashuk lipstick. And this one is called Sheer Pink Lust. And it is a Shine Luxe Sheer Lip Color. So this one's more like a nudie pink shade. These are the most hydrating, shiny lipsticks I've ever used. I mean, it might as well be a gloss because like, it looks just like a gloss. See the shine on it? It's crazy. And then if you actually look at the lipstick, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks wet. So I, I'm going to put on this is the best feeling lip gloss I've, or lipstick I've ever used. See, I've been calling it lip gloss. It just feels so good on the lips, so hydrating. The next one is Chanel Rouge Coco Lipstick in Cecile, number 432. And it looks like this. Super pretty, very pigmented and moisturizing. And it's what I had on my lips before I just put this on. So if you want to back up this this is what I had on and this is over top of it so I've been loving those two my last favorite is this Estee Lauder pure envy shine lipstick in suggestive and it's just this nice mid-tone pink but they're very very moisturizing so they're more sheer um, so it might look really pink but on the lips it'll just look like this and it's super pretty just awesome for every day very hydrating again on the lips and I think the, the more hydrating the better, especially for summer coming because my lips get so dry in the summertime and they get burnt and just, it's not pretty. So I like to have more hydrate, hydrating lipsticks in the warmer weather. And so I did wear this a lot in Florida. Um, but yeah, this is called Suggestive. I don't know if I told you that, but it's definitely one of my favorites along with my top favorite, which is Mischievous Rose in the same line. So I love these. I also have this one. It's... I mean, it didn't make my favorites yet. I haven't really used it that much, but this one's called Charmed. And this one is more of a, I guess it's a little bit darker than Suggestive, but they're kind of similar. So maybe if you like that color better, you would like Charmed. So I love these lipsticks. I highly recommend the entire line. I think they're all really amazing. So those are my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see more. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.